Our two list task will start from balance sheet of the rest. Balance sheet that was the list uh, or activities uh, uh, to be completed for the problem. <coughs> so in balance sheet, we know they have there has assets, liabilities, and owner security that is called as stakeholder equity, or also known as equity. Well, first of all, we can draw a table. can draw in this format you can draw in different way you can draw upper and uh, lower side and also draw in different ways uh, two different side that means t format we are going to uh, uh, complete our task in t format because uh, we have limited space in here so the name of the organizations were <clears throat> null agency advertising. Uh, and we need to complete uh, balance sheet of null agency advertising. So <clears throat> advertising balance sheet and did balance sheet always prepared at the end of the year so 31st december to 0 so first of all the element that we had in our uh, calculation that needs to be considered is asset and asset side asset assets in asset the element were <coughs> cash account receivable is also asset supplies is also asset and equipment that should also be your asset uh, accumulated depreciation should not be considered account payable is your liability so first of all we should write down our asset first asset is cash So our cash should be here. Cash and the amount was there eleven thousand. So I should drop down. Taka eleven thousand or whatever dollar eleven thousand. The second element was in our math was cash after account receivable. So we should write down account receivable. Account receivable. The amount of account receivable were 21,500. 21,500. That was our account receivable. The next task for supplies that should be written down. That means all shorts of assets should be included here. Supplies. <clears throat> supplies amount to where they are supplies or factor that means all adjusted entries amount should be included unadjusted should not be there so <clears throat> supplies were five thousand five thousand <clears throat> then we had 
pigment then we had equipment that were 60,000 taka 60,000 but in real scenario our equipment is not in 60,000 amount or amount is has been depreciated for many years and we are finding such depreciation here our equipment is 60,000 still here and adjusted entry source 35,000 has already been depreciated from actual amount of equipment so our depreciation minus So minus depreciation, minus depreciation that should be included, and uh, that is thirty five thousand. Thirty five thousand should be depreciated and depreciated. After uh, deducting depreciation, we should um, add this amount to total amount that is uh, 25,000 is our equipment right now. Then the assets, whatever we have in this column, uh, accumulated depreciation, leverage. Uh, What about the depreciation? After that, we had equipment, account payable, none, and unearned revenue, none, none, none. Salaries, <coughs> depreciation expense, salaries, expense, rate expense, common stock, nothing is our <coughs> trail balance amount that should be included. Now we have liability side that should be included in our calculation. So we can close after adding all of the amount in asset side, that is total asset that indicate that will indicate our total asset. So total asset. Total asset should be after adding all of the amount, that means 5,000 on two, two, two on five thousand, sorry, five, two and two. Five and five, then five and five, ten, eleven, twelve. We should have on eleven, two, so you should six, six, two, five. Sixty two thousand five hundred is our total asset that should be there. <coughs> That should be there. That is our total asset scenario. That should be our total asset scenario. Then liabilities and owner's equity. Liabilities and owner's equity or equity. You can write in two sides, or you can also write below of asset as we have shortest limitation of uh, space below of asset. We can write in the lips right side of asset uh, our liabilities and equities. So, in the slide, whatever we find adjusting entries equipment after equipment, we have account payable that should be your liabilities so uh, account payable 
should be included. You can separately write first languages, then as you put it, or you make uh, completely rely on writing everything. So we should proceed without writing languages and equity only account. Account payable. <coughs> should be that the uh, whatever written in adjusting in case we should uh, mention here account payable that is 5000 our adjusting entry source 5000 in credit amount so we should write 5000 taka 5000 Then, uh, in our adjusting entries, the amount mentioned here unearned advertising expenses. So this is also our largest because we did not earn it but we have been paid before earning this amount so unearned advertising expense are showing 5600 so unearned advertising <coughs> we are advertising fund and unearned revenue likely have unearned this is basically advertising agency so unearned revenue unearned revenue is five thousand six hundred this is basically our unearned revenue advertising revenue or revenue then salaries and wages payable that also needs to be paid because it is our liability uh, that needs to be paid so salaries and wages payable should be 1300 This payable one thousand three hundred. This is our salaries and wages payable. That should be integrated here. Then whatever we have that needs to be included, salaries and also we have the common stock retained earning that should not be included, salaries depreciation, uh, supply expense, nothing. So uh, our liability scenario is closed. Now we have should pay attention to common stock scenarios. Uh, common stock at the end of the year is showing. On a stock ten thousand, so we should include common stock here.
common stock. So our common stock. Ten thousand. Then return earning uh, is showing in our slide. Return earning. Return earning is showing four thousand eight hundred. And we need to add our income here, return earning. Then we should include return earning. What's hmm? English conversion? So wait for just for a moment and come back. Return earning. Return earning that should be there. We have you can go for another uh, separate calculation or uh, you can do it uh, here separately. Return earning is showing uh, whatever showing that we should include there uh, 4800. 4800 plus. We had net income that should also be included. Net income, net income that should also be included. Uh, in our last classes, we found that our net income was uh, 35,800 that should be included. So our net income, 35,800. 5,800 then if we have any dividend paid during the year that should also be included so in our dividend scenario nothing is included that no dividend is paid so we should go for So we should go for calculation that no dividend is paid. So our return earning should be altogether whatever there uh, is. Forty thousand six hundred. Forty thousand six hundred. That should be there for common stock, and that will be your total retail earnings. So we can add retail earnings. You can remove it that should be written here 10,000 is our actual amount then 40,000 should be added there 40,600 This is the calculation that needs to be completed.
So that's the amount that should be included uh, in our total amount. So after now we have to add all of the amount to find out our balance sheet and balance sheet scenario for assets and liabilities and owners equal to. And now we will add everything here. Whatever the amount were would be. Forty thousand and one thousand. That means fifty thousand. Six and six, twelve and three five. That is, we can put here five. And then we will have on. That is on five and five. Ten on eleven. Twelve. That's been two and five. Four and on five and six. Sixty two thousand. 2500 will be our altogether amount that should be included and it shows that our balance sheet is equal and our calculation is completed that is the actual calculation for closing entries and adjusted balance sheet that we need to complete for our calculation purpose now we will look for our accounting equation and that will complete asset liabilities plus owner security uh, and then we'll go for our entries so now we are going to jump our second exercise which is exercise three now from this exercise you need to complete accounting equations and all of you know that uh, accounting equations consist of accounting equations consist of asset liabilities plus equity. This is our actual scenario of accounting equation that needs to be completed. So, asset, whatever the asset will be, we should write in the right left side, and whatever the liabilities that should be. Uh, right in the left side liabilities and equity and every transaction involves two items on will be on increase another decrease or uh, both may be increased so every transaction in the slide however given will write in two entry form that is in that way we will complete our accounting equation so our requirement here Complete the transaction using accounting equation. Accounting equation of the transaction will complete with the and complete and record. Complete and record the accounting transaction uh, equation. So, all of you know that accounting equation includes assets equal to allowances plus owner security. So, the asset here, whatever will be written in the left side, others items should be uh, written in the left side. So, asset increase will uh, increase the total asset scenario, and others item will be written in the right side. So let's jump to our calculation. First transaction is, is there. First transaction is here. Investment taka 32,000 in cash and equipment. Valued 
14,000 in business. Business is a separate entity from E, from, you know, that's why that should be included. So it should be written here. We should mention the transaction name. That is, we should first of all identify our cash. But you can put your serial number. We can put the put serial number for our written purpose. Cash. Cash. Amount should be there. And amount should be written separately. And that will help you to understand everything every transaction, our cash transaction was in the slide, all of you move, 32,000 and 14,000. Taka, 32,000. First amount you should mention your uh, money below. Other amount should not be mentioned because it indicates all amounts of taka. Then in transition on you have also equipment. Equipment that below should be included. That means fourteen thousand. Equipment value 14,000 should also be mentioned here. Then other entities that should be included here, that is liability scenario. Sorry. So, you should write here equity. So number one transaction from number one transaction we also increase. Owners equity. That should be Forty-six thousand. Uh, number three, trans second transaction. That means we are writing in double entry form. That means cash and equipment is written in as a set, and other side owner security is also mentioned here in forty-six thousand. That means 32,000 plus 14,000 is 46,000. The next transaction here we need to include is purchase contract of 15,000. It is not a transaction, that's why we should not mention it uh, in our accounting equation because it is not a transaction. Then purchase supplies on account, taka seven. 7,000 purchase supply strikers on account. So we should mention here uh, number three transaction that uh, we can identify from her we have found it that means supplies. Supplies will be whatever the amount supplies will be. This is a uh, self prepared uh, explain exercise. That's why it is not mentioned. You will find more or less this type of exercise in your exam. So supplies 7,000 taka. Seven thousand. Seven thousand supplies 
that also increase your liability because this transaction involve uh, account payable. account payable account payable that is our supplies account 7000 bad debt 10% will not be received from uh, taka 10000 account receivable account receivable create who is this transition has already been uh, recorded that's why uh, yeah, 10,000 is not our main factor our factor is 10% uh, you know, so we should consider as 10% so we will deduct bad debt bad debt is the decrease of your asset so that that should uh, return this transaction number four We have treated with some bad debt. Ten percent bad debt is treated, so your uh, asset will be decreased. That means account receivable will be decreased, and doubtful asset will be created. So that's why you should mention uh, the amount in your asset side that your bad debt has been that will decrease ultimately decrease your account receivable scenario so you know, your liabilities has been has not been increased and asset scenario has not also been increased so we should not write this type of uh, accounting transaction because Receivable poverty, polybutton corbett, the connect transaction receipt corahobe, then uh, we should consider it. So that will decrease, ultimately decrease your account receivable and also you increase your dark pool um, asset. So equity situation will be same. So bad debt. That debt should be 10%, that means 1000 should be included as your bad debt. Then, number four, you have also considered that debt that full debt. That full debt should be. 1000 that will ultimately decrease your equity that's why uh, this site uh, equity situation will be changed now the next calculation that we need to consider here uh, is our prepaid insurance expenses taka uh, 1000 this year ebochami prepaid insurance that means our asset scenario increase hoyeche so prepaid insurance all type of insurance expense should be debit but cash side has been decreased so you should write prepaid insurance as your asset so Prepaid insurance is on type of your asset, so asset has been increased.
by private insurance private insurance is our 1000 taka then you have Prepared insurance apni jokhoni beshi podan podan kore diyechen that also decrease your equity position because it also decrease your asset side that means your total uh, liability scenario for the organization has also been decreases so insurance prepaid insurance expenses 1000 that means you always write every transaction in two fold that will ultimately show your accounting scenario then the end is that needs to be considered here uh, sales revenue takato yet to be received yet to receive cash sales revenue after sales correction kintu revenue receive currently that's why your account receivable will increase and whatever decrease sales revenue that means after liability scenario owner's equity decrease well so account receivable we have number six account receive account receivable account receivable will increase and also that will cause equity scenario and liability scenario side sales because each transaction should be written for two times 1000 then the transaction that you need to record here is our sales in credit apni jokhon baki te bikri korben the credit means more or less same that means you have account receivable again account receivable then sales sales revenue on 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 sales revenue again you have some sales revenue from your transaction now you have to complete another transaction that means a purchase of computer uh, 30,000 by owner's fund that means you have use your own fund not business fund to purchase computer investment in the business that is purchase of computer is uh, uh, for business it will be only very specific words as it is only for business purpose not for your own purpose so to apply own fund the investment so it will increase your equity cash of equity will be purchase of computer so computer will increase so 
number eight computer eight computer computer versus thirty thousand and it was also increase owner's equity eight Mars equity thirty thousand. that is your own equity situation then the then the transaction that we need to indicate here salary unpaid after the unpaid kono expense time this is definitely your liabilities so you should include it all types of expenses should be the in should include there so salary Number nine salary that means account or salary payable will increase. Five thousand, thousand, and number nine also integrate minus salary expense. thousand these are accounting question and accounting scenario then the entries that we have in rent to be paid all types of expenses should be deducted rent number nine ten number ten rent expenses rent payable Two thousand minus rent expenses. All types of expenses should be deducted. Two thousand. Then whatever we have, we have also. Then to be paid, this is the equation. This portion should be deducted here because that debt is not your asset. Prepaid insurance is not your asset. Oh, yes, prepaid insurance is your asset. Bad debt should not be included. Uh, bad debt should be written here. In other words, bad debt for it's coming. Bad debt. Bad debt expense should be one thousand. That should be included here for our calculation. After adding both side and detecting the minus side, 
whatever we will we get will be our uh, calculations. So we should add, add all of the amount here. Now 30,000 plus 1,000, 1,000 and 1,000 and 7,000 plus 14,000 plus 32,000 that means 86,000 is our asset side and liability side will show we should show the same amount 46,000 46,000 plus 7,000 30,000 plus 3,000, 86,000, 5,000 and 5,000 minus plus zero, 2,000, 2,000 minus plus zero, 1,000, 1,000. So 86,000 is our total amount from both sides. 